Teach our kids to love their country, to respect police, to work hard, and most importantly, to love one another. I'm Herschel Walker. I approve this message. The Live Five or Six Skyview Network, sponsored by Terry Lambert Hyundai. It's been a beautiful fall day. The changes are on the way. I'll have all the details coming up. Now on this Channel 6 at 6, election season in full swing. Stacey Abrams making campaign stops in CSRA. Also coming up, millions in grant money on the way for local law enforcement. How that cash will be used to keep your family safer. And changes coming for Augusta's pedestrian bridge, that new one. Why city leaders are split on a new name. As your news at 6 starts now. Live from Television Park. This is WJBF News Channel 6 at 6. Good evening, everybody. I'm Brad Means. And I'm Jenny Montgomery. Thank you so much for joining us. People tend to their ballots. It is time now for a first check of the forecast. And for that, we check in with Sherry Sheely in tonight for Tim. Sherry? All right. Yeah, thanks, guys. So outside, looking at our Terry Lambert Hyundai Skyview cam, you can see we've got the sun shining down, and Old Glory is blowing in the breeze. So it's a little breezy out there. Current winds, we're up to 10 miles per hour in Augusta, 9 miles per hour in Bamberg, and a little bit calmer with 5 miles per hour in Swainsboro. So a little bit breezy out there, but temperature-wise, it's still feeling good. We're 72 in Augusta, 73 in Swainsboro. A little bit chillier and at 69 in Aiken and 68 in Saluda. So as that sun goes down, the temperatures are definitely dropping, so need a jacket if you're going out there. Satellite radar is mostly clear with a few passing clouds, but overall it's clear skies. For the next several hours, we're looking at 74, and after that sun goes down, we're going to drop to 62 by 9 o'clock and into the 50s for your overnight lows. What you can expect, we've got another nice fall evening on tap for tonight, but we will have increasing clouds moving in overnight and into your Friday and possibly some rain chances for your weekend. We'll go over all the details in the full forecast coming up. But right now, back to you. All right. Thank you so much, Sherry. More than $2.8 million in grants was recently awarded to some law enforcement agencies in our local counties. The Lincoln County School District is getting more than $270,000 for new security technology for its elementary, middle, and high school. The Thompson Police Department was awarded almost $10,000 for new body cameras. Leaders of the agency say they expect the installment to be active in February and June of 2023. It's a very critical tool that officers can have out there, and it, it benefits not only the police department, the officers, but also the community. And it's an entire purpose is transparency. We're doing everything we can to keep our kids as safe as possible. And if we don't do that, then we're not doing our job, in my opinion. We have to do everything we can to keep our kids safe. Both agency leaders say they're thankful for the opportunity to make their communities a better place. A new name for Augusta's pedestrian bridge is in the works. Earlier this week, a commission committee recommended calling it the Freedom Bridge. But the debate is not over. News Channel 6's senior reporter George Ascala has the story. Cassandra Diatnak was making her first visit to Augusta's new pedestrian bridge. I decided that I would come down to the Fifth Street Bridge and see what, what it had to offer. She called it the Fifth Street Bridge, but what does she think about the different signs calling it the Jefferson Davis Bridge? I don't really want to say one way or the other. I'm just going through it with the flow, and I'm glad that they made some changes. A commission committee approved making changes, recommending renaming the bridge Freedom Bridge and removing the references to Jefferson Davis. I think it's important for all of us for this region as people coming from across the country. I think it's also we can see what is taking place at Fort Gordon, all the military installations around the country. I think it's just the right thing to do. Though it was approved by committee, there was little to no discussion of the renaming, and there are other ideas. How many names has been changed to things over the years and it, everybody still refers to it by the original name? It's, uh, it is what it is. It's okay. I mean, Garden City Bridge would, 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 would work for me. Uh, we're supposed to be the Garden City, and I think that would, uh, that would be uh, something that would be uh, appropriate as well. The full commission is scheduled to make a final decision on next week on whether Freedom Bridge goes up and these signs come down.
in Augusta, Georgia, Escola, WJBF, News Channel 6. With the holiday season approaching, companies like Amazon are getting ready for their peak season production. Today, or yesterday rather, we told you that Amazon held its national hiring day where more than 200 local uh, folks walked away with a new job. Some of those new employees will be working at the Amazon Sortation Center, where packages are precisely sorted for delivery throughout the southeastern U.S. Managers at Amazon say there's room for growth for anyone who wants to move higher within the company. Still ahead, the fallout continues from the investigation into that school shooting in Uvalde, Texas. Why parents are calling for the director of public safety to step down. But first, a look at what's ahead on News Nation. Life comfortably. Today, public safety leaders got an update on the investigation into the Uvalde school shooting. Families of the victims attended that meeting. They called for the director of public safety to step down. Morgan Norwood has more. Tensions running high in Texas. Hold those responsible accountable. As for the first time, heartbroken families of the Uvalde school shooting victims come face to face with Colonel Stephen McCraw, the head of the Department of Public Safety, who in the aftermath of the massacre at Roth Elementary condemned the Uvalde police response. But today, families calling for him to step down, saying DPS officers who also responded to the shooting failed too. It was 77 minutes that 91 of y'all's officers waited outside while our children were slaughtered. The hearing marked the first public update from the DPS director since mid-July. McCraw telling families and the Safety Commission he won't resign. You know, if DPS as an, institution, as an institution fails, then absolutely, I need to go. Right now, this did not fail the community. But families say it wasn't just about the police response. Telling McCraw the aftermath of the shooting, where at times the timeline and details from McCraw tended to change, was just as damaging. Mr. McGraw, you have all the resources in the world. You are from the state of Texas, and yet you come out, your staff comes out, and misinformation after misinformation. 19 children and two teachers were shot and killed with an AR-15 snow rifle inside Rob Elementary. Nearly 400 officers rushed to the school, but didn't go into the classroom where the gunman was inside, but terrified students and teachers until more than an hour later. That slow response leading to a chorus of criticism. Today, Texas State Senator Roland Gutierrez demanding that McCraw be held accountable. I'm going to keep pushing and demanding that this governor take responsibility and fire this person. McCraw says the full criminal investigation will be completed and turned over to the district attorney by the end of the year. I'm Morgan Norwood, ABC News, Los Angeles. And of course, News Channel 6 and ABC will keep you up to date with the latest developments out in Texas. We do want to check the conditions now. Here. Sherry Sheely joins us now for another look at the weather. Yeah, so we had a great day today, and it's going to be a fairly good weekend, but we do have a chance of rain coming up. We'll go over all that in the full forecast in just a minute. Hello, we'll turn to Jamie Casino. If you're injured in a wreck, our team has scored record results. Call me right now. Now, your most accurate forecast with WJBF Live Five or Six. Welcome back. It has been a beautiful day with lots of sunshine. And taking a look at our Terry Lambert Hyundai Skyview Cam, you can see that sun going down over SRP Park. And it is a beautiful sight. So definitely want to catch that sunset if you can. Um, temperatures are good. It's 72 degrees outside right now with a light wind of 10 miles per hour coming from the northeast. So if once that sun goes down, the winds are going to be a bit chilly out there, so definitely need a jacket if going out tonight. Um, right now across the CSRA, we're all mainly in the 70s. Actually, Aiken, Edgefield, Saluda making it into those upper 60s, and those temperatures will continue to drop as that sun drops down in the sky as well. Silent radar, today we've seen some few passing clouds, but overall it's been nothing but sunshine in the area thanks to high pressure dominating the forecast. So we've had lots of high pressure lately, which hasn't given us much rain. In fact, for our drought monitor, you can see we have most of our northern viewing area in a severe drought condition, so the rain is needed. Are we going to get some? There's a chance. 
Um, so we'll keep it pretty dry for your Friday, but we do have a slight chance on Saturday. And Sunday is our best chance. We do have a 50% chance of some scattered showers, so hopefully that will help us with the drought monitor through the area. For your future cast, for your Friday, we have clouds building in, so it's going to give us some overcast skies for most of the day on Friday. And we do have some spotty showers over in South Carolina to our east, so they will see a little bit of rain, for, but for us, Friday will be mostly clouds. Moving into Saturday, though, you can see Saturday morning there are some spotty showers to our south, and it's really just a scattered event, hit or miss, definitely not going to be any kind of washout situation. So for your Halloween weekend, looking pretty good. We've got 71 degrees for your Saturday, those scattered showers and clouds, but overall pretty good. Sunday, though, we do have our best chance of rain, and temperatures a little bit lower in the 70s. Monday for your Halloween, I'm thinking it's going to be mostly treats, so it's going to be 74 degrees and mostly sunny. So back at home tonight, we're looking at clear skies and temperatures in those lower 50s. But tomorrow, we have another nice fall day. And temperatures will be in those lower 70s and even upper 60s for our northern areas, 72 in Augusta for your Friday. So our next 10 days, you can see we've got those increasing clouds on Friday. Some scattered showers on Saturday and Sunday, but Monday is looking pretty good with a few a.m. showers, but temperatures are good. For our Viper 6 Umbrella Contest, today's winner, Ms. Linda Bishop from North Augusta. I hope she needs that umbrella the next coming day. Yeah, maybe she, she, maybe she will, maybe she won't. Linda, but come pick it up. We congratulate you for sure. Coming up, a master's invitation is up for grabs. Half a world... I'm Herschel Walker. I approve this message. All month long, it's the Spangle Week. Michael McGuire is a coal miner from Kentucky. Have you seen this? He showed up to the University of Kentucky Wildcats basketball scrimmage over the weekend. And as you see in his work clothes, all covered in coal dust, went straight from the mines to be at that game with his family. Somebody tweeted a photo of the McGuire's and caught the attention of UK's head coach, John Calipari. Calipari has since given the McGuire's VIP tickets to a Wildcats game this season. Dad wasn't going to miss it, was he? No, that's great. Way that's to go. great. Pretty nice night, Sherry. It is. It's going to be a great night, but tomorrow we've got the clouds building in. It's going to give us a cloudy Friday and a chance of rain this weekend. It's not going to be a total washout, though, so it's going to be scattered and good temperatures, just lots of clouds and that chance of rain, but hopefully by Monday we'll have good conditions for trick or treat. So. Yes, indeed. All right. Thank you so much, Jerry. And that is our report for now. News Channel 6 continues at 7 o'clock right after World News Tonight. We're going to see you again for News Channel 6 at 10 and 11. Have a great night.